And a beautiful evening. You can see the pink in the sky as the sun sets. Next, we're going to check in with Natasha because I think we need to start bundling up tomorrow, Natasha. Did she hear me? Oh, maybe she can't hear me. Can you hear me? Can't hear you, Natasha. Oh, no. What's going on? <laughs> Did you forget to turn your mic on? No, it's not me. It's not me. Talk to Kim and Jared down in the control room. No, listen, <laughs> this was going to be so fun. I was going to have these bats in the background. We were going to talk about Halloween. All right, listen, I know your kids and my kids, too old to trick or treat, but a lot of people are like, what is it looking like, right? So just a sneak peek ahead. These are early estimates, Cynthia, uh, because of course the forecast models will change. That was a disaster, by the way. We are looking at the early outlook. Right now, it looks like there's gonna be a pump of warm air just a couple of days before Halloween. And this is in advance of a cold front. So we're talking warmer than average, uh, windier, so it will be a windy night. And then there's this cold front that we have to watch uh, right through trick or treat time because the timing of that will, will mean the difference between rain or no rain. So that's kind of the early estimate on uh, Halloween night right now. Oh, hi. I <laughs> and I just fell. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Can this day be over? 23 degrees <laughs> was the high temperature today. My goodness. Um, so we are still running well above seasonal. We're watching this cold front uh, out through northwestern Ontario, and that's what's going to drop our temperatures tomorrow. It is situated here now. And this is what it's going to do. It's slicing right across the province. Uh, by 5, 6 p.m., it's going to pass through, and then temperatures will be falling. So by the time you're heading home tomorrow, it's not going to be 21. It'll be about 14 or 15 degrees. Now, is it going to bring rain? Not so much. That's the cold front right there. There's hardly any moisture along it, and that is indicated by the green, the rain. I think this thing may come through dry in Toronto. You'll notice the wind, you'll notice the falling temperatures, but I don't think we're really going to get rain out of this. Uh, northwest winds will drive in some cloud on a Thursday morning, but other than that, uh, that's about it. So it's going to be windy and falling temperatures. Speaking of wind, the long-range wind forecast. There are a couple of days here, one being Saturday. Well, tomorrow, of course, tomorrow, Saturday. And then a couple of days next week where it is going to be sort of uh, windy days. And that's going to really start to knock those leaves off the trees. So as I progress through the fall color changes across the province, keep your eye on that red box because the leaf fall right now is quite low whereas the color change is progressing nicely. Out in Oakville and Burlington, we're up to a 60% color change uh, right now. Over towards Ottawa, it was still sitting at about a 30% color change, but as you go north in towards Algonquin, Algonquin is already peaking. They're at 100% color change right now. Same with Perry Sound. So that's where you want to go, uh, especially this weekend before that wind gets here next week. And then we'll be looking at uh, some scattered showers, possibly on Friday, but really it's going to be a dry week, a dry weekend, and remember, not this weekend, the following weekend, we will be turning those clocks back an hour.